you guys again. Well, since I already got you here, let me tell you how uh, I made this bowl of ramen. So I use seasoning salt and hot sauce to make this because I really love spicy foods. So I was like, why not add spice to my ramen? Am I right? Am I right? And I was like, and once I tasted it, I was like, God, why didn't I think of this eons ago? Well, since you guys are already here, leave a comment down below. Say what, what you put in your ramen, you know? And I know my dad likes to use butter and cheddar cheese. I don't know about myself with the butter. It's too slimy for me. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit that post notification bell, like this video. Again, comment what, what ramen you like in the... Yeah. <laughs> the smile. <laughs>y'all welcome back again i'm dante with the fresh culture with a new video this was going to be kind of fun but before we get into it i need y'all to hit that thumbs up button subscribe and the post notification when this video is over look below and you'll see my entire kick squad the link to all their pages hit those links and start subscribing to them as well if you haven't already so now, you probably already saw in the description, you saw the thumbnail. I'm continuing something that's just been talked about. It's been talked about amongst the Kick Squad. It's being talked about amongst the rest of the sneaker world. Yes, we are about to do battle. What is the battle for? Let's see the graphic. Yes, we are about to do battle Street Fighter style. Well, not really Street Fighter style because I don't have all those graphics. But we are about to do battle. We're about to tackle a few things on each shoe and give you my opinion on what I think. But if you see any, any of my videos, you already know what my opinion is. But let's break down why I feel the way that I feel, okay? So first, we're going to start with... Let's just put them both in hand, all right? Let's switch this up a little bit, okay? So let's see, we got both shoes here. We have the Dark Mocha, which just dropped on Halloween. And then we got the Bio Hack, which dropped prior to that. I can't remember what day that was. When the images for these shoes were released, I was hyped about both of them. They both had me hyped. I was ready for them. I took an L on these, but my homeboy Jumpman Eric hooked me up. He was able to secure a pair for me and he hooked me up with these. These, I took massive L's on a lot of places, but as you saw in my last video, I did hit in a raffle on JD Sports, me and my son, so I was able to get these. So this is kind of a win. So, big talk about these. Jordan one of the year, thus far, right? Thus far, because right now we're, it's still early. There's, you know, we're in November right now. We have December left. You know, the, the, the Code Japans are about to drop this month and people might throw that in the mix. But thus far, because people are saying that this is the Jordan one of the year, right? So let's talk about a few things that we're, let, let's see, what, what are we going to do here? All right, so when you put them head to head, of course, two totally different Jordan ones, right? So let's talk about quality first, right? Material quality. So on the dark mocha, as you can see, it's leather and it has the suede on the back, right? I was really expecting, and this is also talked amongst me and the kick squad, I was really expecting the leather on the dark mocha to be a little bit more tumble, a little bit more softer. You know, it has a little bit of tumble to it, but not really. I was really expecting it to be more on the level of the obsidians, right? Those have like really, really soft leather and everything. And we was kind of expecting this one to be the same. 
and it does not, right? Not saying a leather quality is bad because I still like the shoe, but I was expecting a little bit different, um, hoping for it to be a little softer, right? And you got that suede here on the back of the shoe as well. Now, we're gonna compare that suede because the biohacks are suede. So if you look here, I mean, the suede on this shoe, if you feel, just if you feel on the side, on the black, yo, it, it's, it, it feels really nice. It feels really nice. And uh, I believe, in my opinion, the leather, the suede on the back is slightly better than the suede on the back of the mochas as well. So I think in material quality, I give the nod to the biohacks, okay? So we are gonna go with, um, we'll go with color blocking, right? So anything, anytime Jordan drops a one with this black toe, it's a, it's a killer. And this is, again, this is things that we talk about. You know, this is a killer right here. That black toe, there's something about that black toe that just does it for us, right? So you got that there, um, color blocking, and you got the mocha. So we were already like, we were ready. And, and people talk about poor man Travis Scott's and stuff like that. I don't think it's a poor man Travis Scott. I think it's just a, a, a sneaker fan Jordan one. You know, you take the whole Travis Scott thing out of the equation. This is just a Jordan fans Jordan one, you know? So this color blocking, we love the fact that you can wear this shoe with a lot of different things and just keep it neutral. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to pick any specific colors really to match it up. You don't have to wear brown. You don't have to wear black. You can wear red. You know, you can wear blue. You can, you can wear a lot of different things and use this as your shoe because to be honest, you can just wear brown shoes, right? You just wear brown shoes and it pretty much goes with everything. That's kind of where the lane is that this shoe is right now. But then when you look at this one, color blocking, can you wear this with a lot of different things? I think so. I think you really can, but I think you're limited to specific colors when it comes to that. So versatility wise, I mean, you have the, the, the hot pink, you got the safety yellow, you got the black, you got the silver, you got the lime green, you got the, the turquoise and you got brown. I feel that you have to really, you, you can't, like if you put on red with this, I think you're clashing, you know? So you gotta kinda like watch what you wear in that aspect when it comes to this one. So in that nod, um, with the color blocking, I'm gonna throw that in the versatility range and I'm gonna give that to the mocha. I, I think it's a little bit more of a versatile shoe in my opinion. Um, I think this one is pretty versatile too, but you it just in certain parameters, you gotta watch the colors that you wear. Certain colors, you, you just are gonna clash with this shoe. So I'm gonna give that one to the Mocha. Now my other classification I'm gonna get into is kind of like the extras, right? With the Mochas, you know, you have a traditional Jordan 1 silhouette. It doesn't really need any extras right it doesn't really need it it just you you got your 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 simple jordan one silhouette right but then when you go i'm gonna put this down for a second but then when you go into the biohack there are just some extras in there that just wow me and i know that it's not your traditional jordan one silhouette because it does have all this other stuff going on but this other stuff going on really gets me. And a lot of times, in a lot of shoes, that won't just do it. Just having some extra little nuggets in eye candy, I guess you can call it, in the shoe, it won't always do it. But for this shoe, it does it for me. The fact that right here, you got you know these wings on uh, the eyelet holes, you know, and on the inside, it goes lime green, similar to the sole of the shoe. I think that's hella dope, you know? And then when they bring the turquoise to the back, you know, like they have it on the toe here, and they bring it back there to the tab, I'm a sucker for this. The exposed tongues, I'm a sucker for this. Straight up. I, if I was to do, 
I want to do my own Jordan 1. But I want to do a Jordan 1 low. I want to do a low cut. And I want to bring this element of the exposed toe, or exposed tongue, excuse me. And along here where it has that rawness, along the shoelace holes, I like that. I would love to bring this out on the low cut as well to make this pop, pop, pop out just like this does. But I also want to kind of bring this aspect to the lower part of the shoe as well and kind of bring it right here if I was to do my own Jordan 1. I think it'd be super dope. Haven't figured out the colors yet, but I would do those to my Jordan 1. Um, so these extra eye candy, this, this extra eye candy, I really love that about this shoe. And that is the second thing that gives me the nod to the biohack and putting it as the Jordan 1 of the year. So in traditional Street Fighter fashion, it's a best of three. The first of two wins, wins. So in this case, the biohack has two wins. Dark Mocha has one. So therefore your winner is Ladies and gentlemen, to this date, this shoe is the Jordan one of the year. It could change. It could change within these next couple of months. But as of right now to this date, this is my Jordan one of the year. Those are my reasons why. So you can debate that amongst yourselves. You can put that in the comments. I know in my last video, a lot of you already expressed what you guys thought about it. But after this fun video of me giving you my thoughts on it, feel free to give me your thoughts. What are the details that really make your decision what your decision is right there? I know a lot of you already said what you think your Jordan 1 of the year is up to this date in my last video. But like I said, let me know what gives you guys that decision what is it that did it for you on that shoe that you call the jordan one of the year all right so as you can see i am wearing another hoodie uh some of you have probably seen this in some live videos but i've been working on this one for a while and i might be releasing this really soon so i took the fresh flowers stay fresh tea and i turned it into a hoodie i have been battling this for a while it was a crew neck for a moment now it's a hoodie it's going to be a hoodie i might do crew necks i don't know but right now it's a hoodie so you got the uh fresh flowers stay fresh logo right there got my model right underneath it and on my left sleeve i have some fresh flowers some roses there on my sleeve so this will be available soon be on the lookout for that Follow me on my Instagram page at a fresh culture. Go to my website and subscribe to the newsletter as well so you can stay on top of things that I drop. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the post notification so you can be on top of when I do videos on sneakers as well as clothing that I am dropping. Also, the video is about to end. So go ahead below when this is over, subscribe to everybody in the kick squad and show them some love as well. All right. So until next time, this is Dante of A Fresh Culture telling you much love. God bless. Stay fresh.